This week, AMD replaces the Catalyst Control Center with a new suite, Steam issues refunds to owners of Batman Arkham Knight, AMD tests out its new Zen CPU, and more. I'm David Wolf with Tech Power Up News. Let's have a moment of silence for the AMD Catalyst Control Center. Under new driver release 15.11, its successor is named Radeon Software Crimson. This new downloadable apparently is not just a set of drivers, but also includes a package of helpful applications for more control over your computer's visuals. The update also does away with Raptor, and everything gets replaced with Radeon Settings! Not the most exciting name. Radeon Settings is a nice minimalist UI, very much in line with the Windows 10's simple aesthetic and with a large amount of features many you'll already be very familiar with like game setting profiles, optimized video profiles, monitor calibration, that's standard stuff, and iFinity getting its own tab when multiple screens are plugged in. The new software will not be dependent on .NET Framework and it will be WHQL signed, at least the first iteration. Batman Arkham Knight, originally released for PC back in June, was ripe with catastrophic bugs, so naturally, it got pulled from the store so developer Rocksteady Studios could presumably fix it up a bit. On October 28th, the game was relaunched on Steam, with many of the same issues, garnering stronger criticism than before due to the company seemingly doing so little to fix issues with the game. Steam is currently entertaining refund claims for the game until December 2015, Covering purchases made through its service. Purchases made elsewhere will naturally not be covered. I'm honestly surprised that Rocksteady Studios re-released the game in such poor shape a second time. That's something you'd expect of a company like Electronic Arts. It's nice to see Steam being proactive and offering refunds to users who got burned, though. AMD apparently has tested its new Zen CPU prototypes. The new CPUs are expected to launch sometime in 2016 based on the new AM4 socket with support for DDR4. AMD concluded that the chips meet all expectations with no significant bottlenecks found. Hopefully their expectations for these chips aren't low. And best of luck to AMD with sales as they might be needing them to pay for future litigation costs. Tony Dick, representing himself in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California, has brought a lawsuit against AMD, accusing them of misrepresenting the number of cores in their bulldozer chips, stating their eight core chips really only contain four. The way the CPUs are constructed using two cores to form a single module, the cores no longer are capable of working independently of each other, and as such cannot handle more threads than a typical quad core leaving a CPU that performs nowhere near as well as an octa-core should. Global Foundries has successfully tested its 14 nanometer FinFET technology. This tech is expected to be integrated into many high-performance, energy-efficient AMD products in all manners of applications, reaching large-scale production in 2016. One really cool thing is that the chips are going to be manufactured in upstate New York, not horribly far from me. That's really nifty and you may see Made in the USA on future AMD stuff, maybe even Zen. That's all the news I have for this week, but check out our website and you'll find lots of great articles on stuff I talked about today, like Nvidia prepping to add Vulkan support to its feature set, MSI launches the Z170 SLI Plus motherboard, Zotac unveils the NEN, NEN, N-E-N, whatever, Steam Machine, which admittedly is kind of cute, and much more. I understand that in the span of just a few minutes, you won't get all of the info that you need, or you might have a question. Why don't you head on over to our forums and ask us that question? There's plenty of people around to help you out. Ooh, look at all of the places to ask stuff. You could just ask about anything like video cards and memory. And fans. Did you watch this video and think, hey, I want gaming news. If I got the channel for you, check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They've got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Clicky clicky.